Hello, I'm Catherine and I'm one of the volunteers for Marilyn. What I want to do is just put on a, a kind of a wound one just to show how you can emphasise some bits. So I'll just take one of these, these little ones. You know, these can be used for if you've been bitten by a vampire halfway through the game or you know if you just want to kind of if you've had a fight you can go and quickly put them on in the bathroom they're literally that that easy to put on so peel the film off pop it on get your cloth dunk it in the water and then dab 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 these ones are the the ones that i used for the bruises from when i was the the undead squirrel and they were quite hard to get off. They took a little bit more of dabbing on as well, which I think is quite a good sign that they're kind of adhering to your skin a bit better. As you can see, they're quite quite good. They've got a bit of a sheen around to kind of help with that. What I like to do is get the SFX, like Revolution from Superdrug, do really cheap, good makeup. Good for me, you know, I'm not a cosplayer. I don't kind of have to spend all day wearing these as really kind of amazing makeup. It's basic makeup and say so I'm not particularly great at this but what you can do is dull it down so it doesn't quite look as new with bruising I would tend to add kind of your purple add a bit around it's really hard not doing this with the mirror kind of add a bit around there a bit of an irregular shape because you're thinking you know it might be that you've been punched a um, bit of black because it's good to get some kind of different stippling in you might kind of take that down a little bit and then thinking about as the bruise gets gets older what might that look like so you would add in a bit of yellows especially kind of the yellowing around that bit it's really kind of useful it kind of then mush and blends them in so you're kind of getting that older kind of look obviously adding red for inflammation as well but you know you're kind of moving that out so that you kind of get some of those feelings of bruises so it might be a bit more red there where the impact was but then adding yellowing for to kind of dull it down of where the bruising is getting older and it might be that you then have a bit more of a, a hit look often putting kind of purple in the center and black in the center where there'd be a point and then a small bit of yellow kind of really emphasizes that so you can kind of look like you've got a bit more of kind of the broken capillaries and things like that so easy ways in which you can kind of get a tattoo and if it looks a little bit shiny then you can kind of add some accents on there so that it's kind of and then you can kind of just take that off in the day and then you can change each each day you've still got the temporary tattoo there but you can kind of make it look older so that if you've got time passing you can kind of make it look older each day, adding more kind of greens and yellows and, and less of the purples and, and blacks. So there's, you know, it's really, I'm not artistic. You know, <laughs> some people, you know, are really good at freehand drawing. You can get the tattoo pens and do the really incredible freehand drawing. Or, you know, you can add in fake blood and stuff like that. I am all for simple and easy. So adding tattoos on, you might want to kind of do little highlight accents with other colours. Um, but and the tattoos on really really simple so taking them off um you know you can there's different types i don't know which ones are going to get these off so there's oil based and then there's just normal kind of makeup remover so let's have a look so normal makeup remover yeah pretty good that is taken all of that off really simply um, again, I've got makeup removers that are for sensitive skin, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, other ones might take a bit more and need oil based, so if you've got your oil based ones, just give them a good shake. Pop them on, and let's see. Ah, easy. So I can go and see my patients on a Monday morning or after the LARP, and you know. That one's been on a bit longer, so might take a little bit more rubbing or kind of soaking, but yeah, it's coming off pretty easily. Um, so it won't leave you with red skin. So 
that's all for the, the temporary tattoo. There's lots of different things. There's probably more videos online. Um, but for me, it's just a really simple, easy way of getting some, you know, character into what you're playing, um, especially if you're fizz repping a werewolf at Marilyn because they have got really distinctive marks. Make it simple for yourself. Hope that's helpful and I'll see you at Marilyn. Bye. Thank you.